Hello, this is a quick video regarding the Acronis True Image uh, software problem uh, which happened to me in the uh, update for the program. Um, so this is part two regarding the problem um, because I uploaded another video about the um, problem I had. Um, I have been speaking to Acronus uh, for the last few days. Uh, they've been in touch with me as well to tell me what's been happening on their uh, systems. Um, basically, if you can remember when I made the interface video and the tutorial on how to set up a Cronus uh, for uh, your backups and to show you all the features in a Cronus 2017. Uh, when I went to make the folder for the backup, um, obviously it didn't make the folder correctly. Um, so where it says Windows Backup uh, under custom custom destination obviously it didn't say that um, so I rectified some at that issue uh, with a Cronus and what it was was the update uh, there was a problem on their servers um, for downloading the update now even though the update downloaded and um, installed um, they told me that something may not have gone through correctly so what they advised me to do and this is re the reason why I'm doing this video so I can tell you uh, the best thing to do is completely uninstall Acronis 2017 and the Universal Restore uh, but do the Universal Restore one first and then a Cronus 2017 um, and then re-download it from your account and reinstall it so you've got a new installation and that should rectify the issue um, one thing to note though when you do do an update um, under the account tab um, even before you press on download I would recommend you to uh, close your antivirus down uh, because I didn't do that straight away um, so my data downloaded and then I closed the antivirus down when the update box come up um, to update Acronis but they also advised me that it's best to turn off the antivirus software completely uh, prior to clicking on the update button uh, which appears here when there's a new version okay um, another thing to let you know about um, is the system report which I was talking about last time um, I gave some slightly wrong information about that um, yes it does create a system report for your computer uh, but it doesn't come up on the screen to tell you the information what it does is it makes a zip file and when you run that um, and you click yes uh, to the message from Windows do you want to allow the program to run um, nothing will come up on the screen um, I went to run it the other day and I thought that it wasn't running so I went and clicked it again to run it a second time um, I then got two messages later on uh, from the system report saying that um, a zip file for the system report has been generated on my system um, so I then went to the directory uh, where, what the message told me uh, where the uh, file is stored and there is only one zip file there 
um, so I contacted Acronis about this and they said um, basically if you run it twice like I did um, the second one because uh, I had the message come up twice the second zip file won't save if it's detected that you've just uh, got a, a backup in there already of the system report um, but if any of you have ran it uh, twice or more at the same time it will not cause a computer problem because um, I also uh, just asked them that for this video really um, so if you do run it more than once if you think like myself it wasn't running because it was the first time I used it um, then obviously don't worry about it because it won't cause a computer problem but only run it once but in the past if you have run it more than once don't worry about it because it won't cause a problem with your system okay so um, I hope this has helped you out a little bit um, if you've got any questions regarding Acronis um, please ask me in the comments below and I will obviously get back to you in due course um, if you like the video uh, please give it a thumbs up to support my channel and please subscribe uh, to my channel for more videos okay thank you all for watching and thank you for your time goodbye